Well, good afternoon, everybody. Yes, it still looks pretty hot out there. If you're having to deal with it, uh, you know, my, my heart goes out to you because I know it's, it's tough. But as long as you get the brakes, as long as you get the fluids, uh, get in there and get cooled stuff down, go to the air conditioning, uh, we might hopefully make it through this entire summer. Right now we're at 96 degrees. Uh, it feels like 109. Your actual high temperature was 98, and that's not a heat index. That is the temperature. So you can imagine probably we were in the 115 category this afternoon. Uh, these temperatures, of course, are in the high 90s. We should be in the low 90s. And with any kind of luck, next week, beginning on Monday, and I know, you know some of you are planning the 4th of July, um, we may have a, a little bit of a change in our environment at least. Now, these are the actual observed temperatures today, 102 up in Eagle Lake. Uh, San Antonio, uh, one degree off their all-time record high for this date, so it's just hot. And uh, the thing is that now the bubble of high pressure that created all this mess, these are the forecast highs tomorrow. You can see there's actually about a degree minus over here in the eastern side of the state. It's out west where just the blazing sun is out there. Now, you'll notice here that, that Texas is virtually clear, okay? All of this virtually clear. And so why are the showers rolling around in this fashion and down over here? Well, because the pressure is so high here, the little thunder showers can't build up into the cooler atmosphere to trigger off some rain until they get far enough away from the center. The center makes a big difference, and now the center is going to be moving. You can tell here very classically, uh, whereas it was all Texas, all Texas for three weeks, now it's going to move over here and much of the lower Mississippi Valley. And, and I'm telling you, we're going to hear a lot of tragic stories over the next couple of days because I don't believe these people are ready for this, but it's going to be very hot and very humid all the way down. Now, all these areas in purple are supposed to be gray, but it looks purple on my monitor, um, um, are areas where they're having these horrible air pollution. Now, this is not regular air pollution. This is the fires that continue in Canada that blow the smoke down into this area. So it's a dangerous situation if you want to breathe, you know, and, and a lot of people out here are very big fans of breathing. Uh, so this is, this is kind of a, a real problem. So we've got oppressive heat down here, a ridiculous smoke up here. And so now uh, for us, as I mentioned, uh, there is a trend that we're going to be dropping down to a little bit closer to seasonal averages, okay, with a little luck. Now here is the bubble again. Notice how everything goes around it, right? Because high pressure is sinking down. And as that goes all the way to Thursday and Friday, you can see definitely it's moving to Louisiana. That's gonna open up the Gulf door, give us a shot at some moisture around here and possibly a couple of little showers. Now, there you see the Caribbean. Uh, there's some disturbance there, but it's not expected to organize. This is the only named storm we have right now. This would be Adrian. That one's moving out to sea, but this one right behind it is going to be very close to uh, Acapulco in the next couple of days. For Port Lavaca, we start at 91, get up, uh, rather 81, get up to 93. And for Cuero, we start at 78 and get up to 96. Everywhere else, we're going to continue with the hot stuff all the way through Saturday and Sunday. You might see some clouds. Monday, Tuesday, and even Wednesday especially, we have a shot at getting some afternoon showers around the area, a whopping 40% on Wednesday. So let's see if that holds together, folks. That's your seven-day forecast. Just want to remind you, we do have a QR code. Scan that and put Crossroads Today right on your phone. We'll be right back as we toss it back to Cutty. 